Hi, for this recording, I am going to determine if the following series summation of minus 1 power n plus 1 over n squared plus square root n converge or not. Now, because of the presence of minus 1 power n plus 1, this is actually an alternating series. So, the most obvious way to test the convergence of this series is use the alternating series test. So, let's look at how do we recall the statement of alternating series test. Okay, it says that if a n equals minus 1 power n plus 1 times b n for n equals 1, 2, 3, where b n is a decreasing now sequence with positive terms, then the alternating series b1 minus b2 plus b3 minus b4 and so on is convergent. Now sometimes it's easier to check that b n is decreasing by looking at 1 over b n is increasing. So now let's look at the problem again. So in this case, in our case, a n is minus 1 power n plus 1, 1 over n square plus square root n. Alright, so we look at again. So in this case, we can see that number 1, b n is actually 1 over n square plus square root n now. So note that b n is positive. Now, n decreasing. Okay, why is bn decreasing? Actually, you can look at this way. 1 over bn, if you look at 1 over bn, you'll find that 1 is decreasing with n. In this case, bn is decreasing with n. It's because if you look at 1 over bn, as 1 over bn is equal to n squared plus square root n, it is certainly increasing with n. Therefore, you take reciprocal, you know that bn is decreasing with n. So all the condition of alternating series test is satisfied. Therefore, by alternating series test, the series minus 1 power n plus 1 over n squared plus square root n is convergent. Okay, so this is one method to show that the series is converging. The well, only thing maybe you're not so sure is why is it this is now here? You can see that 1 over n square, you can by com comparison, 1 over n square plus square root n certainly is less than equal to 1 over n square. And we know that 1 over n square is a now sequence. And you can use a squeeze theorem to know that this is now. Okay, having known that, then it actually gives us another idea to show that a n is a converging series by looking at another way. Alternatively, we can also use another test called the absolute convergent test. Let's recall the statement of absolute convergent test. In this case, the statement of absolute convergent test says that the series Summation of an is absolutely convergent if the summation of absolute value is convergent. So in this case, we can ignore all the negative terms, negative signs. Okay, just concentrate on all the terms ignoring the sign. Then the absolute convergent test say that if a series is absolutely convergent, then the series is convergent. So let's go back and look at the solution again. Our series an summation of an is equal to summation of n from 1 to infinity minus 1 power n plus 1 over n square plus square root n. Now, taking the absolute value of the terms, this will give us summation of n from 1 to infinity 1 over n square plus square root n. Now, we know that we also know 1 over n square plus square root n is less than 
1 over n square. And we also know summation of m from 1 to infinity, 1 over n square, is a convergent series. Convergent p series with p equal to 2. Therefore, by the comparison test, we know that the absolute the series with absolute term m from 1 to infinity 1 over n square plus square root n converge. Therefore, we conclude that submission of m from 1 to infinity absolute value a n converge and by the absolute conversion test then the original series summation of 1 over m from 1 infinity a n which is summation of m from 1 to infinity minus 1 power m plus 1 n square plus square root n converge this is the end of the recalling